Hello everybody, in this video we will learn how to export data from Gravity Sketch to Blender. More precisely, we will learn how to export low poly data so you can continue modeling. If we look closer to my surfaces and I hit the, plot, the blue button here, I see this is the sub-D. Here on the tire I have the volume tool and here we have the strokes, stroke tools which serve as the shot lines on the car. So everything what you see, you can export to Blender. Only thing is, if you go to layer, you need to be sure you make the layer visible, because if the layer is not visible, you will not export it to the to Blender. To export, you hit the blue button, then you press save and export, and then you go here on the arrow. Make sure we are saving on cloud, because we want to download the fi file from landing pad. So then hit the arrow, make sure it's FBX. I prefer FBX over OBG because FBX keeps the materials and it keeps the layer structure, centimeters at the X is Y. And then I hit the advanced options. And here I make sure it's mesh, it's valid because we want to continue modeling and it's control and layers. So then I go back and hit the blue check mark. And it's asking me where to file it, so into my files. And I hit save here and I name it Blender Export and hit the blue check mark. You see it's saving. Then you go to your landing pad, make sure you are in the correct organization and go to your files. Search for the file, so Blender Export and hit the download button. When the file is downloaded, open the Blender, delete the cube, go to File, Import, Import FBX, go to your Downloads to search for the file, select the file and hit Import File. Your data will appear precisely where it was in low poly mode. As you can see, everything, every part is attached to the central pivot in the origin point and we want to get rid of it. So once you selected everything, you go to object, then you go to set origin and set origin to 3D cursor. Then you select the whole car, press shift A, select rotation, and then you hit shift A again and press scale. So this means when you will be rotating or mirroring the the planes and the parts of the car, everything stay in the same position as it is now. So I hit, I select the sub-D, I press the tab, and I press Control 1, 2, 3 for subdivision node. As you can see now, it's in the 4, and this makes the car look smooth again. What I don't recommend is to grabbing everything and pressing the Control 4 at the same time because it would break your computer, so it's better to do it one by one. So I go and select each pair and press Control 4. I don't hit the volume brush, I just hit the subdivision parts one by one. Also the stroke tool, you don't need to make them smoother, just the headlamps and other subdivision parts. In the next step we will apply the mirror modifier, so make sure you select the roof, you hit the tab, you are in the viral mode, and then you hit one on your numpad and select all half of the edges of the vertexes. And then you hit delete and you delete the vertexes. Go back to the perspective mode and to the materials viewport. Now you select, you hit the, the roof and then you go to mirror modifier. And you make sure, you see here, we have a problem. That's because the mirror modifier is not on the top. So you drag the mirror modifier and you put it over the subdivision. It's because the Blender always reads the modifier from top to bottom. So make sure the subdivision is under the mirror modifier. And now, as you can see, I hit the tab, then I select one vertex, and if I move it, it's mirrored and the symmetry is alive again. And if you want to continue modeling, you need to do one by one every part here. So now I select the car body, I go to wireframe, I hit 3 for the rear, I select all the vertexes, then hit delete, delete vertexes. Now we go back to viewer, viewport shading, I'm still in the edit mode, and I go to add-ons, and I hit the mirror again. Again, I put the mirror over 
the subdivision so I get rid of the weird shape. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and watch our other videos for export import in Blender.